golly, Joe. My golly, I'm glad to see you. What brings you to town? Mr. Cobb, you heard from Dan Edward? No, don't expect to for about a week. He's taking a wagon load of stuff up to the McIntyre station. What things? Silverware, furniture, antiques. Food he might take, or guns maybe. Billy Joe, do I have to guess? Which way he went? Through Kulandara. Then he was taking a shortcut he'd heard about. I come from Kulandara. He left there ten days ago. He did not reach the McIntyre station. He can't be lost. There's not a better bushman in the country. He is not lost. His way is through an Aboriginal hunting ground. Well, the tribes are always friendly to us. Not this tribe. They have been taught to hate the whites by one of the tribes, a white man. A white man? This man has done murder before. Which one of you is Mr. Christopher Cobb? Well, now, uh, I'm Mr. Cobb. To whom do I owe this pleasure? I'm Mary Ann Regnor, Miss Regnor. White man's name is Edward Regnor. He's my father. Now, I think before there's a whole lot of confusion around here that you ought to come over and sit down, Mary Ann. Right there. That's right. Now, supposing you tell me why you came to see me. This morning, Aunt Essie, I live with my aunt since Mommy died. She came back from shopping in Cool and Dara. And she sent these away to Sydney to be framed. Who's this, Marianne? That's my mother, and that one's me. Mm -hmm. I wish there'd been three pictures, but Mummy wouldn't have even mention Daddy's name. No, why not? I never knew till the other day. She thought he killed a man. It was before I was born. They wanted to hang him, but he ran away out into the bush. Marianne, are you sure about all of this? We were going through Mummy's things. We found the stories from the newspaper. She kept them tied up in a drawer under her hankies. And what did the newspaper stories say? Daddy said he didn't kill the man. And your mother didn't believe him? I never met him, but if Daddy said he didn't, well, I know he didn't. Well, I could ask Oscar Wonders to check the records of the trial. If he was unjustly convicted and his wife didn't believe him, he sure would have reason to hate a whole lot of people. That's why I came, Mr. Cobb. I want you to find him. All right, Marianne. Can I take this with me? I want to meet him, then maybe he won't hate so much. Who's responsible for this? Who might you be, sir? I'm Christopher Cobb. That's my wagon, and this merchandise you're ruining is my responsibility. Well, Where's the driver? Uh, it ain't our fault, sir. We, we, we want him. Where'd you find the wagon? Right where you see it now, sir. When I opened my store yesterday morning, there she was, just like she sprung up out of the ground. And the driver? Well, uh, I'm afraid to tell you, sir, but uh, I guess he's been sprung into the ground. Now, uh, why don't you step in and have some hot tea? Come on. Yeah, thanks, I will. I'd appreciate having that stuff back in the wagon when I come out. Hey, make yourself at home, Mr. Cobb. Thanks. Bring Mr. Cobb a cup of tea, will you? My driver said something he knew about a shortcut to the McIntyre property. Yeah, shortcut to get your bones bleached. 
We told him. Can you show me the track? Yeah. It wouldn't do you any good. All you'll find is them wild aborigines and that crazy white fella. What do you know about him? Oh, he, he's a killer. I've seen too many men go through that country. But I ain't seen too many coming back. Ragnar? Edwin Ragnar? How do you know my name? It's not unknown. My name's Cobb. Police? No, stage lines and freight shipping. We took your wagon back to the town. Nothing was stolen. It's a little matter of a missing driver. No, I want it. You're leaving Gundago. No, Ara. You're leaving and you go away. Ara! Ara! You better get out while you can. Regner, I don't mean any harm to you or to your people. I have a gun. I could easily have used it. You had a gun. Wait a minute. Regner? The records of your trial are being re-examined. There's a chance of a pardon for you. Liar! I know what reward was put on me. And that's what you're after, isn't it? The money, the little gold god of civilized man. Any lies, any deceit to get me back. No, Well, Wagner. you have a greater problem, my friend. Get yourself back. So you are a killer. I have never killed a man. You can thank me that you are still alive. How? Balgula, the magic chief. I stopped him from pointing the bone at you. The bone? His magic is strong enough to kill. Oh, you don't believe that? I have seen too much not to believe. Regner. Our third anniversary. I had it painted as a present for her. Did Jane ask you? I'm sorry. Your wife died a few weeks ago. This was given to me by your daughter. I have no daughter. No? Look again. Her eyes. Her same eyes. She was born six months after your trial. Well, then Jane must have known. And she never told me. That's how much she hated me. Well, Mary Ann doesn't. She wants you home. After what her mother told her? Mary Ann has a mind of her own. She's a kind of a willful young girl. Matter of fact, a little too much so. She needs a father. Where's Dan Ledward? Get your things. Hurry.
dance a death corroboree. They dance it for somebody who's just died or is about to die. What do you mean? These people think I betrayed them. After having taught them to hate all my kind, they despise me for having let you and your friend live. There's only one who would understand. And even to say goodbye would put his life in danger. We haven't much time. They don't seem to be following us. No need. We're gonna have to walk the rest of the way. I'll take you as far as I can. All right. That means first to Dan Ledward and then all the way to Sydney. No. Not in three days. Why three days? That's all I've got to live. No, you saw the bone. Look, I don't expect you to understand. But if you want to find Dan, don't waste any time. No. What is this bone? It's made from the forearm of a woman. At one end is a blob of black gum. And to it is attached a cord of human hair. Doesn't sound very dangerous to me. Balgula, the magic chief, made the bone strong. He sang his song, his own song of power. And the strength in him passed along his fingers into the bone and into the cord. It's part of him. As strong as he. The power of black magic is all in the mind of the victim. Oh, yes, that is the civilized theory. The civilized excuse for the mind to shy away from the unacceptable. All right, what's your uncivilized theory? It is a spear of thought. The shadow of the bone passes into the victim's body. So now there are two bones. Balgula has one, and the other... Whatever happens to the first will happen to the second. Balgula will burn his bone, and he will sing his song. May your heart be torn asunder. May your spine be split open, and your ribs torn asunder, and your head and throat split open. You don't believe me? Regner, I know something of these people and their beliefs, but for you, no, I don't believe it. I've seen it happen too many times. I've seen men try to escape by running and found them dead a hundred miles away. Well, certainly. Starved or dead from thirst. We haven't much time.
friend of yours you mentioned. What's his name? Dal Gowley. My brother. Your brother? Well, you see, I stumbled over a cliff and was half eaten by ants when he found me. The tribe took me in. They'd never seen a white man before. Well, he saved my life, so I became his brother. And he taught you the ways of the tribe, huh? You have understanding, Mr. Cobb. I... Regner. <laughs> two days. Only two days. There's nothing wrong with you but my lousy cooking. Oh, we've got to hurry. You're burning up with fever. I know what it is. This is still my land. Isn't there any cure, any antidote? So you have come to believe. There is a way the bone can be removed. But it would need a man whose powers are stronger than Balguna's. Can't we find one? Thank you. I have heard of a magic chief called Chalkara. But he's gone walkabout far to the north. Too far. We haven't time. We've got time. Now come on, you eat something. This is his trail. Which way is he headed? Toward town? Oh, Kulandar is to the south. To the fresh track? A day ago. We can't make it. Come on, you look healthy enough to me. See, you're all right. Help me get him down to the water. This no good monkey stole the wagon and left me out here to rot. And now you're treating He's him like... the only chance of staying alive. He's half dead, and if the other half goes, we'll all three rot out here. still out there, all around. Sounds like a valley full of bellbirds. Only these bellbirds are vultures. Chris, what are they waiting for? They're waiting for him to die. Why don't they come and kill him? But it mean their magic chief would lose face. It also means that we can get him to the doctor in Kulandara, if he lives that long. Listen. Tagula. came to see me die. No, Chalkara, take Bone away. How did they let you through? Falgula is afraid of Chalkari. He has stronger magic. You see. Bone day? <sighs> with you? If we can find our way. He say white men won't kill him. 
No, we could have done it by now. Dalgoli, if you let him come with us, we think he'll be set free. You understand? He did not kill white men. I believe that, too. Send up. I will take you to Kondara. You're a good tracker, Dalgoli. Oh, he's coming with us. We can't leave him here. All right. As a matter of fact, I bet we could find him a job in Sydney. What do you think, Dan? Yeah, sure could be useful. He doesn't understand much English, but he's quick to learn. Dalgoli, you come to Sydney with us, huh? No. I stay here. But he needs you. I not belong to him. Since last night, I belong to Chalkara. That's why he came last night. That was his price. Picture of a civilized gentleman. It's a beauty. Isn't it, Chris? Look at the line. Daddy! Daddy! I made on here, she dragged me over. I wanted to be here when you got here. <laughs> it's like magic. And it's the only kind of magic I like to see, Mr. Regner. Isn't it, Chris? Thank you.